Enscape just got 10 times better and that's because of the new Enscape 3.5 update which you can find the link in the description to download after watching all of the new features in this video. So first off we have adjustable assets. So Enscape has just updated this feature and it basically lets you adjust and customize the assets to your liking and that's with a different number of multiple assets so to see this you have to go to the asset library and from there on we just select the all category and just use the tag adjustable and over here you will be able to see that there is almost 1000 different assets that you can customize and adjust to whatever fits you best with your project now we can test this out for example with this car so i'm just going to select it and then we can change the color to whatever we like best so i can just select the car click here and then we can change the color to let's say red which also makes the car a lot faster at the same time and then from there on we can move forward to adjust other assets now this is also available with trees and vegetation and all of that so i can choose this tree right here and then i can click on it once again and as you can see there's a new variable for this tree which turns it from a fall or autumn leaves making them more orangish to something more green and more of a summer vibe so i'm just going to click apply changes this feature is also available with different types of materials so let's say this bench we can just select it and then we can change the color of the wood that it has and we can also change the clothes of the people 3d models in enscape which brings us to the next update that enscape has to offer for us now enscape has just added over 50 new people in the asset library which for me makes the best asset library for anything that you will need so the people's asset library now has assets that have been 3d scanned which automatically makes them way more realistic than any other rendering engine that is not actually 3d scanning the assets that they are producing now to actually see the 3d scan and people we have to go to the tags here and just click exclusive and then from there on you will see that all of these 3d assets have been 3d scanned and once i click select i can just zoom in and you will see that these are just on a whole different level when it comes to quality clarity and all of that aspect of realism. Now, another very cool feature that Enscape has added is that they've upgraded the lighting and the global illumination immensely. Just for context, here's an image that was created with Enscape 3.3, and here's the difference of the image that it has now with Enscape 3.5. This has not only made the lighting a whole lot better, but it has also upgraded the reflections that Enscape offers. This new feature and this upgrade with lighting and reflections is available with all NVIDIA RDX models already ray tracing models as well as with the AMD RX 6000 and 7000 series. Now moving on we also have improvement in the alpha channels export. Now this is very good news for you if you actually use Photoshop for post-production or any other kind of software since now you will also be able to get the material ID for services that are semi-transparent and all of the reflections and all that. So this is definitely something that will contribute onto renders being even more realistic. Now I also have some very good news for Enscape users who use Revit in their native modeling software. So there is the new orthographic mode now available with Revit as well. So over here you can go and click on the perspectives and just click orthographic view and now as you can see you will be able to get an axonometry view if that is what you need for your project. You can even get front view, side view like rendered facades if you need to or even top views which is super helpful for your projects. You can use this maybe for side site plans, for shadows, for site analysis, and all of that other good stuff. Also, if you are a Rhino user, now if the assets are placed from the Anscape asset library onto Rhino, they will be automatically assigned to a layer. This will make your workflow a lot more efficient than previously with Anscape 3.5. Enscape 3.5 will also be available for Revit 2024 users if you have already upgraded to the newest version of Revit. So once again, thank you to Enscape for sponsoring this video and for making possible all of these amazing features for us Enscape users. And make sure to click the link down below to download Enscape 3.5 on your computer and to take advantage of these features to get ahead of the industry.